Well, when working in IDS, we work with three different file types. Those three different file types each have different jobs. First of all, we have an image file or a file that we'd like to turn into an embroidery design. Those are typically JPEG files, TIFF files, WMF, anything that we can view in like a picture viewer. When we create an embroidery design, we are taking it from an image file and turning it into stitches. So that's when we use the create function. We'll go up to create on the main menu bar and left click. Once we left click, we'll scroll down to insert image. When we left click on insert image, a new dialog box will appear. That's our select graphic menu. When we do that, on the left hand side, you will see that you have a hierarchy of, um, of file folders and of our drives. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up my CD drive. That's when I left click on the CD drive. And I will choose my file from that drive. So this is going to be a graphic file or an image file. I'm just going to choose the butterfly, left click. So after we choose our directory, on the right hand side we see what we can bring in. So I would left click on butterfly, press OK, and once I press OK it brings it into my image processor. This is where it detects the type of artwork and you have different options that you can choose from. For this, this is a simple piece of artwork, so we'll go ahead and press OK leave everything as is, we'll keep the size as is, we can always resize at any time. We're going to go ahead and press OK again. And with resizing at any time, because we are converting it to an IDS file, it's going to hold all the original information about the design. That way when we do resize, go up in size or go down in size, it will recalculate the stitching. So once we take the image file, bring it into IDS, IDS will automatically trace it. I'm going to turn off the original image in the background, which is that WMF file. That's the icon here at the top, which is the Apple Hide View Image. I left click on that, that hides my image, and now you can see it as a wire frame. This is what IDS drew for me to put the stitches in. Right now we do not have any stitches. In order to put the stitching in, at the bottom right hand side on my create bar, I'll left click on the go button. I left click on go and when I do that it's optimizing the stitching, um, choosing what kind of stitches to go where, and when I look at the design I can see now I have stitching. With the stitching I can now save the design. When I save the design, we'll go up to File and Save. When I save this design, I'm saving it as an IDS file. An IDS file holds the information about the design, such as the stitch type, the density, the color order, and any other pertinent information. So on the left hand side, I will choose where it's going to save to and after I choose where it's going to save to, I'll go ahead and save this to my desktop for now. I just left click on desktop. In the file name, I'll type in butterfly. After I type in butterfly, and you see the file's a type, it says IDS, I press OK. So I save it as an IDS file. This is not yet ready for the machine. The IDS file is native to the IDS program in that I can work with this file should I need to change anything, should I need to edit anything. This is the design file. Now to complete the process and write it to a machine file, that's where export comes in. In order to save the design as a machine command file, and command file means that it tells the machine when to move the pantograph, when to drop down the needle, and do other commands such as trimming, color changes, so on and so forth. 
right now, the machine cannot read an IDS file. It can only read a DST file in our case. So we do have an import and export icon. This is the export icon. I have different ways that I can export, and we'll just choose the first way. We'll use the drop down arrow and use the export one function. When I choose the export one function, a new dialog box will appear. On the left hand side, I will choose my format type. In this case, I will choose the DST. And on the right hand side, I will choose the design location. I have four boxes. The first box will show me what, what drives I can choose. I will choose the C drive in this example. And within the C drive, I have several folders that are open right now. I want to change directories. So I double click on C to see what directories I have, I have available. I would like to go to the desktop. So in this case, I am working in Windows 7. I'm going to scroll down to Users. I open up Users, and these are the different accounts I have on my computer. The current account that I'm on is named MWD. So I place my cursor over that and double click. And then I will go to the desktop. With the desktop, if I open that, it will show me in the third box down what's already stored on the desktop. So far, I don't have anything stored. And then the fourth box down will show me the name of the design. Right now, it's named butterfly.ids, which I can see at the upper left-hand side. And it's going to default to that same name. So with that already named, um, I can rename it if I'd like, but I'm just going to leave it as is. I then choose export. Now it is a stitch file. So let's review. An image file is what I bring into IDS to turn into embroidery. And that's when we use the create function. Remember that's up here on our main menu bar under create and insert image. We could also choose the insert image icon on the right hand side on our create bar. It looks like a little, little apple with a hand on it. Once we create the design in IDS, and IDS creates the stitches for us, then we save it. And that's an IDS file, which is a native design file. After we save it, we then export it to a stitch file or a DST file. That's the command file telling the machine when to do the commands and what commands to do. So if we go to a new file and we would like to open a design, that means we'd like to open an IDS file. So if I go to File and Open, I would then find my design, an IDS design that is. And right now, I did have my butterfly stored on the desktop. I'd left click on Butterfly, press OK, and you can see there's my IDS file. It has all the original information about the design, should I need to change anything. This is the best file to work with as far as any edit editing goes. I then also have my DST file, which is the command file. So let's go to a new design again, and that's what I would use import with. Exporting is writing to a DST file, Importing is bringing in a DST file, such as if you'd like to import a design and maybe add a name to it, do some resizing, or some minor stitch editing. I'm going to use that import one function, so I use the drop down arrow next to the import icon. And with my import design, I have DST chosen. I can see that I have my C drive chosen. I then, underneath the C drive, I have users, MWD, and then desktop. The third box down is going to show me what files I can choose from. I'll left click on butterfly and then click import. When I import it, it shows me the design. It may not be the colors that I want, but that doesn't matter because the machine does not see thread or colored thread on the needles. What it knows is commands. And as long as you have those commands down, it will do whatever you tell it to do. So again, 
Opening and saving is with an IDS file. Importing and exporting is with a stitch file. Then creating and inserting an image is bringing in a design that you'd like to turn into an embroidery file.